my beloved brothers and sisters. Now I present before you a strong vision provided by Jesus via Melanie, a servant. This vision is a prophesy, a window into the events just about to knock on this planet. Events that will fundamentally alter it. You must thus pay great attention immediately since the warning we will be given today might be the last one. The vision starts with a bomb plunging from the heavens. The way it falls, gliding softly as though it were tied to a little umbrella, is rather unsettling. It doesn't descend in wrath. No, this bomb falls deliberately, gently, almost with an uncomfortable ease, as though the forces driving it are not in hurry. This is not a disorganized flash of devastation. It is computed, deliberate, sent with aim to bring the beginning of what the Lord has shown under trial for the whole planet, but in this instant of approaching catastrophe, the gods themselves step in. This bomb approaches, rising in the heavens above, pristine as the white dove shines brilliantly. Acting as a real peace messenger, this dove intercepts that bomb, encasing it totally, and wrapping it up with wings as white as snow, therefore protecting the ground below. And in a magnificent show of God's kindness, this dove soars sharply upward, bringing the bomb away. From the earth, far from where it would have caused catastrophe. God is showing us his hand, his pity, even in a society that has turned from his love and his instructions. Though it is a warning, this also offers a glimpse of his mercy's might. Still, the Lord is also reminding us that his patience is not unquenchable. Right now he is hiding damage, he is following the route of judgment. For what length of time, though? This time God's own hand has interfered. The dove's wings will not permanently protect the earth. Melanie's vision now alters as the image opens out to a place far from here. The distance itself becomes meaningless in England since this prophetic vision shows us a man simply going about his daily drive in his car. He also sees it far away, a black cloud of smoke rising thick and angrily filling the sky, spanning far and wide and clearly for kilometers. This is not ordinary smoke. This cloud tracks an explosion of terrible force. The events starting now are not occurring behind closed doors. No, it is on display and easily seen from miles around. The Lord has not secreted this disclosure. He is clearly showing us what is to come and warning of it. The tranquility we savors and the security we take for granted are delicate things. God's patience holds back the catastrophe only momentarily. However, my friends, this bomb, this cloud, this great smoke, this fear, are right here on the doorstep. The Lord is guiding us to see that these events are on their way, that we have to get ready, and that there is no choice save for confession. If we are to resist what is ahead, we must first. But the vision does not stop there. Melanie's view is raised higher, above, where we see the British government has dispatched its own armament, its fighter jets in perfect rows, exact and forceful, in a display of human strength and control. The sky is darkened more, flying with enormous speed these jets' technical wonders. Reflecting the might of earthly government fly toward their country, intent on defense. Then, without warning or apparent reason, those jets start to fail. One by one, engines die, power runs out, they fall from the heavens as though knocked down by an invisible hand the authority of man stripped in a moment. Those confident, so strong jets become nothing more than falling scrap metal. Once once the heavens are clear in an act as quick as it is horrible, God's message is not clearer. No military force, no government power can save us. From his judgment, should he remove his protection, regardless of our perceived strength. And in England, this incident paralyzes their ruler from the core. The vision sees Prime Minister Kirstarmer, and he, as frantic, is hopeless, pulling at his hair. His face twisted in ennui, helpless to act, unable to make judgments, he is pacing back and forth in his office in almost insane state. You see, he understands at that instant he is completely powerless and that earthly knowledge is insufficient. Like many of the others, this leader is lost without God's direction. He wanders, terrified, defeated by his own frailty and the horror all around. God has sent us this vision as a warning of what is ahead, a collapse of human leadership and a plunge into uncertainty and anarchy. Then we are shown even more indication. King Charles, the king himself, is in both a physical and spiritual collapse. His energy has dropped, his power has faded, and his presence is hardly noticeable. 
Still living, he is a shadow that is becoming weaker every day. This symbol, this king, this emblem of the history of a whole country, sits weak and fading before us, a reminder that human strength, even the strongest in the land, cannot stand firmly in these dark days without the Lord. This is God revealing us the end of worldly power. It is evidence that no kingdom, no crown, and no line can remain safe without His favor. Friends, as this king also is powerless to change the path God Himself has prescribed, we are seeing the once mighty now humbled to frailty. In one last terrible picture, Melanie is shown Vladimir Putin, and there he sits, looking mischievous and with dark intentions in his eyes. His face is one of sinister delight, as though he is both completely aware of the anarchy developing and maybe even enjoying it. Serving only himself, he is a man who will be all too ready to profit from the upheaval, the misery, and the uncertainty. My friends, do not doubt that there are forces at work that yearn for anarchy, that feed on anxiety, that aim to guide the planet toward ever darker days. With his terrible intents, this man is only one of the participants in this developing drama. He is evidence that evil is always present and ready to control, to inflict agony, to pull the earth down. Friends, we have to really embrace this vision. This is a warning a divine exhortation to atone and face the Lord once more. Time is not on us to postpone since these events are not far off. Once the bomb was held back by God's pity, His dove intervened, but if we continue to live as we do, how long will we have His protection? God is clearly showing those who chose to overlook Him what lies ahead. Our monarchs, our leaders, our strength all will fail us without His favor. Still, He is patient, forgiving, and he has revealed us what is to come so that we could come to him and be rescued. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation, it is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey